All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Stats Arm Badass, and today I've got the Atlatl. And this is my personal favorite that I like playing around with. The Atlatl itself is your Atlatl Dart. There's your, there's your Atlatl right there. But I like this like instinctive archery and things like that. So to go with instinctive archery, I like primitive technology, primitive weapons and stuff. It gives you, it's a lot more difficult and it's a lot more work to learn how to do, uh, to get it down and not just that, but then being able to use your uh, instinctive, uh, in instinctive accuracy. So in order to hit the target, you have to really get the feel of the weapon. So anyways, today I'm just kind of shooting this. This is a six foot dart. And this is the Carbon Express. For I've got this set up. Let's just try and hit this a few times. There's one. Now the reason why I like this Carbon Express is because it's a takedown. It has it has these two points here to take it down, and then you can also change out your broadheads. They just twist right off. I'm not locking them down right now because I'm going to put a different tip on here. I'm also going to be making at ladles on the channel. And I know. <laughs> kids always try to follow me. I'm going to be making at ladles on the channel and making the darts as well. It's a really uh, cool, simple design. The way they've done this is so you don't have to use your fingers. When I use an atlatl, I'm, I, I usually have to use my fingers to grip. The way they've got this set up here is, I like the fact I like the fact that they're takedown arrows. They're takedown darts, like light takedown arrows. Bit thicker, and the only design flaw I don't like is I wish they would have just went with some type of bigger uh, broadhead here on the end, some sort of tip. Is a bit bigger because you're going to take a chance with this thing hitting the deck a lot if you're training for training purposes if this thing's hitting the deck a lot you're you could possibly break this so just keep that in mind to be very careful so that you don't you don't damage it while you progress and get better and <laughs> don't let these things fool you man they have some serious kick knockdown when it hits a target and it it it'll punch down my target pretty good and in some cases it it depends on how hard i want to fling this thing because the technique for flinging it is when you when you use one of these you want to you want to kind of grip in right here so up here with your fingers if you didn't have this velcro but the way they've got this set up here it's dummy proof for the individual you got a divot as you work. You got a divot back here in the back. It's just a hole. There you go, getting blurry. You got a divot right here in the back, so it goes right down in there. And that is all some very tough aluminum. And right here you have composite, some sort of composite material. But here is aluminum, or I believe I'm not sure. That's some sort of material that's. Uh, I, I'm, I can't answer you on what this is, but it's it's very very thick material but it's not it's not composite or anything or carbon uh, fiber here is something else i'm not sure and then here this is all aluminum so there's three different types of pieces here that go together but the way they've got this set up here so you can practice and it's got this velcro here so when it does its release when it does its release it just rips right off just like that and so the technique would go just like this as it flies out. And aiming, uh, aiming is really, to me, in uh, from my instinctive archery, you know, I've done archery now for years, and I've progressed at that pretty good, I guess. And uh, what I see is that I use the broadheads on this. So when I'm aiming... Uh, and at, and the the atlatl, I I tend to use. I'm still using this as my uh, as my front sight. So I don't have a rear sight, but <laughs> that's just the best way of explaining it to anyone. 
this is what I use as my guide to get to the target. And I'm, I'm putting that like, uh, this far away from what I'm trying to hit. Um, uh, that's, that's just the way it is. And that's how I'm, that's how I'm getting closer and closer to this dead center when, uh, when I throw, but I'm going to be making the atlatl. I'm going to be making some here on the channel. And I'm also going to be making some darts here on the channel. I'm going to show you guys how to make, uh, we can do some takedown darts. I think it would be helpful to have takedown darts. And the more darts you have, the better you will be in training. And you'll get much better at it because you can do it repetitively. Grab another dart. You don't have to walk with this system here. You get one dart with this. That is Carbon Express for those of you that are looking for this gear. Uh, and this is the takedown at Lattle. It will uh, take down critters if you need it to. Just don't let don't let stuff like this fool you. Uh, you know this system here is very deadly, very very deadly. Uh, I would not want to. I would want to at least have a bow if I'm facing somebody with this at <laughs> This thing will seriously go some distance as well. That's another thing that I need to say. I've got this set up with some Velcro. I, I just grabbed these pieces of Velcro so I could put the whole thing together. And this is what I'm doing so that any of you that end up with something like this. And then I put the, uh, I put the dart back in its slot just like it's supposed to be. And then I've got this other piece that I got from uh, some, survival, some survivor cord that I'm just kind of putting around that. I figured it color matches, I guess. I'm not really going for a color matching thing, but that's from some survival cord. I just kind of bring this, twist it, so it doesn't mess up my fletchings. But that's it, pretty much in a nutshell. But um, yeah, don't let this thing fool you. Distance, I mean, it is ridiculous how far these things will travel. It is insane. And I mean, you, I don't know how well I would be at moving targets. A deer, probably no problem. And something like that, something a little bit bigger. Uh, but I'm not quite sure on smaller critters. I don't know if the Atlatl would be a good option for that. It's good to know these things because in the event that uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, over time, you know, uh, archery becomes extinct because of, uh, the way things go in the world and, you know, you've got, uh, you know, uh, you know, second amendment rights and things like that. They're always being attacked and, uh, archery gets attacked later. It happens and, and it's happened before. So, uh, you know, and then options like this, you know, might be the next best thing, I guess, but you will work out. Let me, one more thing I want to add before I get off here, um, uh, using the atlatl, you, you, uh, you use most weird, unusual, uh, muscle groups let's just say that it's not like swinging a ball bat or anything like that uh, you will <laughs> notice that you're using a little bit different muscle groups all right i hope you enjoyed it you're uh watching sos i'm sasson via have a beautiful fabulous fantastic day rainbows and unicorns god bless take care comment below if you've got questions about any